and welcome it's Sally here with Tuesday teaching tips and I'm sorry if I confuse some of you and just you just saw me pop up a moment ago but it was giving me all sorts of warnings so so today I'm just going to want to talk about something that keeps being with me all the time and that is how to help our students to really learn really remember stuff and um, I want to talk very briefly about the rule of three, which is kind of, as I say, hovering around in my head at the moment. And the rule of three is about helping things to stick for our pupils. You know, to be honest, we have very little time with them. If you have 30 minutes, very little time. If you have 45 or it's for an hour, then slightly longer. But nevertheless, it's not very much time in the whole week. So we want them to be able to find, retrieve, um, items that you've taught them, things that you want them to be able to remember. And just going back to that word retrieval, you know, what do we want them to retrieve? What do we want them to remember? What do we want them to take away with them at the end of the lesson and bring back to the next lesson? Um, now, to help them with that, there is this idea of stickability. I love that word, stickability, helping things to stick. And you help things to stick by actually getting the student to retrieve it from their memory up to three times in a lesson. So, for example, I've got um, a young girl coming this afternoon. We're looking with dealing with the concept of whole steps and half steps this afternoon. Um, we had a quick sort of excursion into it last week when I, I just um, did a little bit of preparation work on it. And this afternoon, I'm thinking about how I can use the rule of three to really help her learn this and, and have this for her own. So I'm going to use my floor spots on the floor and we're going to start by walking the whole steps and the half steps. I use so far, so it will be do, re, whole step, re, mi, whole step, mi, fa, half step. And Hello to everybody who's watching. I can see Sharon's out there. Hi, Sharon. Um, so that would be the first point that we are um, looking at whole steps and half steps on the floor. Nice visual reference there. And then at some point during the lesson, maybe not straight away, but we might then look at the whole steps and the half steps on the keyboard. Because, of course, um, it's all very well to sing them, but when they come to the piano, then it's a very different matter. And I might help them by doing some patterns. Well, you can't see, can you? But I've got some little, <laughs> you can see just about here. Look, you can see I've got some of my little friends here. They're, they've come apart a little bit, but we might put those on the keys, for example, um, and the penguins might be on the whole step, do, re, whole step, and then the frog could be on the half step, the, the me to the far. Can I just say at this point, one of the reasons I really love so far is because the function of the notes um, are absolutely explicit and very visible. So me to far, me far for example me far it's always a half step that's all that the student has to remember i have to remember she has to remember um whereas the rest of them and except for t t <clears throat> no re mi fa so la ti do is also a half step end of story on the piano it's a different matter though isn't it that's the problem with fixed pitch is that those half steps keep moving depending on where you're going to and where you're coming from anyhow we would put these then on the keyboard to help find the them on the on the keyboard and then as she's playing one of her pieces which i know has got um, the pentachord in it, so half steps and whole steps, we'd actually locate those half steps and whole steps on the, the music itself. So getting her to um, the rule of three, we'll do it at the beginning of the lesson, talking about whole steps and half steps. We'll look at it on the keyboard, talking about whole steps and half steps. And we'll also find patterns on the music, talking about whole steps and half steps. And because I can be quite, I tend to call myself quite unicorn about it, you know, there's one point to the lesson, and that is that she understands half steps and whole steps in a number of different ways then I can teach that really really clearly and I can be really moving her towards being able to retrieve that information about whole steps and half steps and the patterns that we can find with them um, much much more easily so as I say this is still quite um, something that I'm thinking about 
at the moment I just thought I'd share it with you but it's this power of three the rule of three do something three times get the student to retrieve the same information three times in different ways and that will help them to actually return to next week's lesson having still got that information in their head so the rule of three get the student to retrieve three times in the space of a lesson beginning middle end wherever you like but do space them apart a little bit thank you all so much for watching i can see lots of people have popped in to have a listen and i do hope you find that useful and do try that out this afternoon or tomorrow or wherever you whenever you want to this rule of three think about what do i want to teach and can i get the student to retrieve that three times during that lesson okay that's the rule of three for you thank you so much Bye-bye. See you next week.